And remember that we are not descended from fearful men, not from men who feared to write, to speak, to associate, and to defend causes that were for the moment unpopular. I would say my moral moment was after I took uh, COM350, which I believe is the news and society class, the one that uh, specializes more in radio. Um, like I always knew when, since I was little that I wanted to become a journalist uh, of some extent growing up. But after taking that class, I realized that journalism had such an important role in democracy. And upon learning that, that just reaffirmed that I needed to be in this field. The connections you make through the Murrow College are amazing. I'm so close with everybody I went to college with still. The advisors here all know me by name and they follow up with me on my career and I'm only two years out. So I can't imagine down the road what that's gonna look like. So the Murrow College is absolutely, it just looks amazing on resumes number one. I think that in a competitive job field when people know that you graduated from the Murrow College, they know that you're ready to take on something that many other students aren't ready for. It's the professors and the advisors. The advisors have been really beneficial to the, the success and wanting to continue to be successful in this college, you know what I mean? They, them wanting to see you be successful is what's really been beneficial for me. People who care, you know, that only motivates me to do better. You know, my focus was advertising. I came to Washington State to go to the Murrow School to study advertising specifically. But what I loved about the program at Murrow was that I had to take classes across all the disciplines, broadcasting, PR, journalism, etc. And so it was the journalism sequence in particular that meant so much to me because while it wasn't my focus as an ad guy, what I learned in journalism at Murrow was how to write and how to write well and how to write well very quickly. And that's a skill that's been with me my entire career. Not only has it served me, but it's allowed me to coach and teach others as well. I've seen so many students um, go from just an everyday kind of student walking around campus trying to figure out what they're going to do to becoming that person that they thought they wanted to be and also see how they've changed in many ways of their direction of their career, what they want to do is uh, in, for their family life, kind of balancing all of that. But I think the, the best thing is to see them take in what we have to t talk about in class and, and teach them and then putting it together in their career. You know, we did a, a uh, half hour show on Fridays with Cable 8. The other days of the week, it was a 15-minute show. And one time, I got to anchor the half-hour show. And I didn't think I was very good. I wasn't secure. I didn't feel great about my chances. I was in the program, but I, I didn't feel great. And that one day, that one Friday, I anchored the show. And it just kind of all came together. It was fantastic. And after the show, Glenn Johnson, my mentor and friend, said in that great voice of his, he goes, Eric, that was really good. I think, I think you've got a chance in this business. And it's just like, I'm like, what? I do? I mean, I really, honestly, it was just sort of a, hey, I can do this thing, you know? And that was the, it was just that little push that I needed, you know, it was that, that little push and made me believe. So I received a nice uh, email from Casey Murrow, Ed Murrow's son, uh, a couple of days ago. He was very in tune with his father's legacy, very excited about what we're doing as a college. And uh, I appreciate very much his um, interest and dedication to what we're about and the leg legacy of his father because it really is about uh, the courage, the ethics, the innovation that Ed Murrow used, showed uh, journalism and the world basically and then uh, really gave to us as his legacy and um, our responsibility is to continue that legacy on. Cassius was right. The fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Good night and good luck.